Stand by. Still working absolutely fine. G-Shock a Tarfest Watch in the World World を目標に。巨大トラックに、えー、踏んづけたりしてもフリークワンリー・シーンのリストのリストのリストのリストのリストのリストのリストのリストのリストのリストのリストのリストのリストのリストのリストのリストのリストのリストのリストのリストのリストのリストのリストのリストのリストのリストのリストのリストのリストのリストのリストのリストのリ Before the watches were recognized at the cutting edge of fashion. Here's how a timepiece with utilitarian origins became a must have accessory and went on to collaborate with brands as high end as Bape, Comme des Garcons, Mason Martin Margiela, and Montclair. Behind the hype G Shock. Pilots, firefighters, and construction workers. G Shock has long been beloved by people with tough jobs and even tougher demands for their timepieces. But when Japanese streetwear exploded internationally in the early 2000s, the watches secured a reputation, not just for their day to day use, but also for their distinct mark on fashion. With their parent company Casio based out of Tokyo, the watches became central to the explosion of Japanese fashion in American hip hop. Collaborations with established names like Jordan Brand and Stussy, as well as up and coming names like Clot, Staple, The Hundreds, Stash, Crink, and Neighborhood, made the watch the perfect canvas for expanding the limits of streetwear. The watch's chunky designs complemented the era's flair for bold, eye catching colorways. Some of the most hype releases in recent years have included Kit's Rainbow GM 6900, Futura's GDX 6900 FTR 1, t a k a s h i Murakami's Red Jelly Frogman, Eric Hayes' Special Edition GA700, and a 35th anniversary drop from Nigo and the founding father of G Shock. Celebrity collaborators have resulted in a number of G Shock releases, including pieces made in partnership with musicians like Kid Cudi, Rihanna, ASAP Ferg, Eminem, John Mayer, Eric Clapton, and Lady Gaga. And G Shock's International Shock the World Tour made watches available for multiple cities, leading up to a massive bash in New York with musicians and DJs. The watches have been seen in Hollywood films since the 90s. Some of the watch's most notable film appearances include Keanu Reeves in Speed, Tom Cruise in the Mission Impossible series, Bradley Cooper in American Sniper, and Chris Pratt in Jurassic World. You know me. This is going to be phenomenal! Oh! In sports, G Shock is tied in with snowboarder Turier Hawkinson and even the America's Cup in sailing. But their reach is not just limited to popular culture. Over the past three decades, G Shock has prioritized sustainability through partnerships with environmental nonprofits like the Dolphin Will Eco Research Network and the World Coral Reef Conservation Society. Yet long before G Shock had any collaborations, they had an idea that would change watches forever. The founding father of G Shock, Kikuo Ibe, became inspired after a beloved watch once given to him as a graduation gift was shattered. In 1981, he started on a durable, shatterproof timepiece with three criteria called the Triple Ten. The watch had to survive a 10 meter drop, withstand 10 atmospheres of water pressure, and it needed a battery life of 10 years. The moniker G Shock was then coined, inspired by the gravitational shock of a fall. But crafting this watch was a lot easier said than done. More than 200 unsuccessful prototypes later, the developer had a breakthrough while watching children play with a rubber ball. Upon impact, the center of the rubber ball was not affected. eBay realized that by suspending the watch's module in the center of a case, the module is protected, yet still compact. eBay's discovery went on to inform one of the defining features that set his designs apart. Five levels of shock absorption. The buttons and glass of the watch were also protected from contact at every angle, with overlapping urethane to shield them. The watch's straps kept eBay's ethos in mind by guarding the watch and wearer from impact. 
When the G-Shock DW5000C hit the market in 1983, it served an audience that, to this point, could not trust their watches to stand up to their lifestyle. But the watch wasn't just tough, it was affordable. Collectors and fans today love G-Shock for how prolific the brand has been. Models like the GMW-B5000D-1 Full Metal, also known as the Full Metal 5000, show how G-Shock has enhanced their original DNA. The watch's bracelet, bezel, case, and case back are all metal, making the model the first of its type in the 5000 series. In 2019, G-Shock released the GA2100 with an analog digital display inspired by the original DW5000C. The use of carbon reinforced plastic in the case and watch put the model's diameter at 11.8 millimeters and the weight at 51 grams. Most recently, G-Shock has announced its slim metal profile, a full metal GM-B2100 coming in silver, dark gray, and copper. The GM-B2100 watch stands out for its charging capabilities, using tough solar technology to convert power from even weak light sources. Built-in Bluetooth capabilities further push the technological limits of the watch. Owners can use the smartphone link function through the Casio Watches app to get automatic time updates and access a phone finder function. Over the decades, the watches have stood the test of time by transcending a singular cultural appeal or lifestyle. Models range from affordable pieces like the DW9052, priced at under 100 US dollars, to limited edition pieces like the 18 karat gold GD5000 9JR, retailing at 69,500 US dollars. G-Shock timepieces can be found everywhere, from the runway to the recording studio, proving that tough utilitarian watches have just as much aesthetic appeal as even more expensive pieces. With more than 100 million G-Shock watches sold worldwide, the Japanese brand's legacy is written in stone. Behind the Hype G-Shock <laughs>